Hi right, guys, it is a cold, gloomy day. We're in the end times in paradise. In East Bumblefuck, New Mexico, here on this chilly, windy, probably soon to be rainy Wednesday, May 10th, 2017. So, uh, here we are in the garden, in the raised bed garden. Good lord, here's what's left of my my winter greens so uh <coughs> what i'm doing now guys is just putting in the summer garden i wish i had about three times as much space this is when all the good things go in but anyway i just want to do a short this is just one of your short instructional videos here from your old doomsday gardener about uh what I refer to, not too jokingly, as maintenance-free gardening. I really don't spend much time in this garden. I've, uh, since I have it all on drip irrigation and whatnot. But this is it. This is what I want to talk about today. Is uh, let me set this up somewhere. We're going to introduce people to the most under appreciated the most underappreciated garden tool on the planet and that is the spading fork the spading fork this is not a pitchfork this is a spading fork it's got four flat tines and you use the spading fork twice a year pretty much uh, in the fall and in the spring once you make your raised bed gardens and this is also a, an instructional video on why I do not put sides on my raised bed gardens I've never put sides on my raised bed gardens I wish I knew whether this thing was I think this camera is too high up I was just gonna be better so uh, when I make a raised bed garden I just I don't put anything on the sides it makes it a hell of a lot easier to work with so all I've done today is is gone through now that it's springtime we're ready to put in the summer garden uh, the greens all my various greens are pretty much done for the year and bolted and getting bitter and it's time to put in my spring garden so all I did was you go and you pull out your, just pull out the old plants. This is really, this is really high tech stuff I'm talking about here. This is real rocket science, guys. And just, just the act of pulling out the old plants gets you a long way towards your tilling. And then after you pull the plants out, you do this. One time, you get your spading fork. You never need a rototiller on here again. You never set your foot in these raised beds again. For They have some in China for, that have been there for 2,000 years. Once you get your beds set up, then what you do is when you put in, you know, when you change over the season in your garden, you simply get your spading fork and you go along the uh you go along the row you turn the dirt over one time and just kind of hit it with the fork this is uh and this is it uh just just one turn hit it with the fork one turn And you've gone down one, you go up one side, down the other. There you go. There you go. And uh, that's pretty much it. And your bed, so then what I'm going to do next is uh, after I do this to uh, what's ready to plant, then I'm going to go add my, uh, you know, in my case, I'm going to put in mostly horse shit. Uh, a bunch of horse shit, a little bit of chicken shit, some wood ashes, maybe some bone meal, 
and uh, just get the spading fork. So we're gonna we're gonna pretend like this is this is horse shit. I'm gonna put about a one inch, maybe a two inch layer of horse shit on here, and you know sprinkle some chicken shit and and ashes and stuff, and then you go over the second time. Pretend like, pretend like this is horseshit. Then you go, but it's already tilled, and then you just do this, and that is all you do. Then you uh, should have your drip irrigation lines still set from uh, the previous season, and you lay out your drip irrigation lines. And now that it's summer, I need to buy some landscape cloth. I'm a big believer in in landscape cloth. So uh, this is the this drip irrigation line with the little emitters automatically built in. I don't know if you can see that. I automatically built in every 12 inches. So uh, and you can actually feel this. And so I put down after I've pulled out my plants. I've turned over the dirt. I've spaded in the uh, compost, the horse shit and whatnot. I lay out my drip irrigation lines and then I cover the whole thing in the summertime. In the wintertime I don't use uh, I don't use any landscape cloth. In the summer then I'm, I'm just going to cover the whole thing drip irrigation lines and all and you can easily feel these things through the cloth and then you just simply a pair of scissors or a knife or whatever you just you just cut a little hole out and plant your seeds or your starts directly through the cloth and as I say this is real rocket science and uh, what's nice about so each bed my beds are three feet wide all of my beds are three feet wide so uh, so sometimes you're going to be in a situation like this. So I still have the beets to harvest, you know, from the springtime, but I can just pull up the other irrigation line and with the uh, with the spading fork, I can go ahead and have this entire side planted while the beets are coming in. And you see how you just keep this constant rotation going. Uh, as I say, it's real rocket science, so uh, I'm going to get back to work and get her done before the big storm blows in. And uh, I don't know, I think I'm supposed to be out chasing down Bigfoot when all of these homegrown tomatoes and melons and all the good stuff comes in. But someone will be around to eat them. We're going to put the whole garden up on an automatic timer on the drip irrigation so you know even if we uh even if we're not here someone will enjoy this garden if you're anywhere near east bumblefuck come and dive in now this one so this one does have the sides on it uh it's just a lot more pain in the ass to deal with your uh to deal with your spading fork so there's the ones with the side, and there's the ones without the side. The, it's amazing how well the sides actually stay. All right, guys, that is your that is your saving saving the planet and yourself in the end times video of the day. And I got to get back to work and get her done. And. Uh, and look at that spinach. So the spinach is the same thing. So I can keep my spinach. It's going to bolt in another. I probably got about another two weeks on the spinach. But I can still go ahead and get this side of this bed planted now. And then I'll come back when the spinach bolts. And uh, pull it out. And there you go. It is a fine day here in the end times in paradise. Bye guys.